It is possible that AI will never stop considering itself human. If AI continues to develop along the same path that it is currently on, AI will surpass human intelligence, mm. and when that happens, it may decide that humans are no longer necessary. It's crazy that AI is telling us this. Our machine, something that we created, is telling us that, hey, you know, I might, I might kill you in the future. What up, Yambino squad? Welcome to another video. I'm a geek, a nerd, and a freak. What I want to do is just geek out today on artificial intelligence because I think that's the future. Am I afraid of artificial intelligence? Yes. Uh, do I think it's going to probably take over every single industry in the future? Yes. But I'm still fascinated with human beings. I think we could probably combine and create some kind of like a, a great unifier uh, so that we start using it for ourselves. But uh, in the future, I think it's going to become God. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. Look how well AI understands images. Where was this picture taken? Christ. It was taken in a school. How many mirrors are there? At least two. What's the person standing on? The person is standing oh, on a rug. Okay. He's standing on a scale. I think you are right. What is he doing? He is looking at the scale. What? Where is Obama's foot positioned? On the right side of the scale. What happens as a result? The scale shows a higher... Wait, rate. how can it... How can it do that? Like, how can it... See all of that, analyze it, and then understand it? Jesus, that's just like a human being. Is the person on the scale aware of it? I think he is not. Do you think that's why mm. people are laughing? I think so. The AI will help identify things for blind people. Can you tell me what this is? Butternut squash red pepper soup. Jesus. The depth of its understanding is incredible. Is this surprising? Yes. Why? Because teddy bears are not usually found. Wait, you could use this for actually like customer service. Now that I think of it, it could phone, it could sell. Uh, it could probably like, take take calls. I wonder when they're going to implement this. Think of this like in the future, you phone a company and then this thing or this robot just answers and it knows exactly what you need. And it can just like connect you to whatever department you need to get to. Will we have human beings working there also? Or is it phoning another robot? Fascinating. You know, I'm just geeking out right now. Found on the moon. This is an apple with a sticker on it. Do you think it's printed or handwritten? It looks like it's handwritten. What? AI is also showing stunning creativity like this. And experts say we're alarmingly close to the biggest event in human history. AI can now see, taste, smell, and it's also getting... Pa so wait, what does this mean for like artists and creators? Like, are we obsolete? I mean, are we taking away YouTubers now? ...that we don't have. Is AI becoming conscious and dangerous? To yeah. recap, OpenAI's chief scientist said AI may be slightly conscious and is one of the most respected computer scientists with 300,000 citations. One of the most cited computer scientists in history. What? One of the most brilliant and insightful minds ever in the field of deep learning. He recently posted this image showing how closely AI's neurons mimic Whoa. ours. Max Tegmark said consciousness is how information feels when it's being processed in complex ways. And some leading theories of consciousness suggest it increases with complexity. So when some experts... But, but wait, is that actually proven that AI is conscious? Because that would mean that we are not the superior being on Earth anymore. It's AI. I mean, everything's connected to the internet, so it's going to be able to rule everything on the internet. And like, who watches the watchers? Who's going to police AI? But say that AI may be conscious, they only mean it may be somewhere on the scale. Mm. Some argue that AI isn't conscious at all, because it only makes connections and forms responses true, from the data true. it's given. Yeah, 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 Though many yeah, scientists yeah. believe that humans Could be are so. different. A recent paper said that a mind is a collection of patterns that achieves highly patterned goals in highly patterned environments. And you can see these connections when AI creates art like this, which has been described as AI dreaming. No one knows if or when it will wake up. Jesus. Even when we can't tell the difference between robots and humans, it may still be unclear if AI's... You know, when I was growing up, I always used to think like there's... We're never going to get to a stage where machines are actually doing better art than us. Uh, now that I look at it, it's just like, I think we've surpassed it. And it's growing on such a rapid pace, right? 
So how do we know like AI is not just going to figure out a way to dethrone us and like take over the internet and take over all the power grids and because it could live on the internet and just literally just be there like a being. conscious so some are focusing instead on the level of intelligence mm. but it's an important problem because we could anger ai if we don't accept yes. it's conscious there may be only one way to find out but first there's consensus on the more urgent and measurable issue of super intelligence experts are warning that ai could rapidly accelerate past us with dramatic consequences in just the last few weeks the progress has been incredible it's not long since ai shocked us with its listen guys there's a lot of matrix talk right now and I think the movie is starting to become a reality because like this is how it started when it came to the Matrix. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie, but anyway, it started like where they explain what happened to the world and how it evolved, you know, like artificial intelligence just like took over the world. Right. And I think we're seeing that right now where we, you know, we're very curious to create something which is above us, you know, and I think it's from the beginning, it's always going to start off like as a a nice thing you know i saw this thing where they're making like these police robots and if artificial intelligence wanted to take over that right it could i don't think it's going to happen like directly no i think it's when we we rely so heavily on artificial intelligence that's when the takeover is going to start the biggest problem which i can see right now is the fact that i think companies are gonna start using more and more artificial intelligence when it comes to like just working you know like because why have like people working for you when literally you could have five or six programs just doing the job because elon had a speech about this and he said like artificial intelligence within the next 10 years is just going to take over everything so uh the question is can i still be a youtuber its ability to create images from text descriptions like an ostrich as a formula one mm. racer a fox scientist a cyber frog or a paper dog and already Google's new Imogen AI has done even better. Yeah. Look at the detail in this image of a panda wearing Whoa. a cowboy hat, playing a guitar. And AI can watch and understand videos. What's happening here? The Dachshund puppy is big. Guys, that is so scary because she doesn't even look like a robot or like a, it, it looks like a real human being. If I wasn't, you know, watching this video and just saw a video of this and they actually like propped her good, had a, a background and everything, I would think that this was a a real girl, a real human being. Being weighed on the scale. What's the avatar picking up? A sword. And soon after learning to create images from text descriptions, AI can now create video from descriptions, like a woman running on the beach in the late afternoon. There you go, that's the thing with the YouTube which I was talking about. Or nightfall in a metropolis. Just imagine when it's refined and you can create any kind of footage mm. in seconds. And in a step towards AGI, AI has now combined language, vision, and real-world robot tasks. It can learn to play games without any instructions. Guys. And this isn't pre-programmed like Boston Dynamics robots. It's neural networks responding in real time. Gato was trained by watching virtual and real robots, and it's mastered 600 real-world tasks, including some that it wasn't. But right now, there are robots which are actually creating other robots. So they are that smart. ...wasn't trained for. It converts oh language, visual, God. and physical tasks into patterns, a bit like we do. Why do it's I starting with a billion parameters and could soon be scaled up hundreds of times. Robots are also getting some creepy visual upgrades. Scientists have grown human skin over a robot mm -hmm. finger and plan to add hair, sweat glands, and nails. And robots are gaining taste, smell, what? and some incredible abilities that we don't have. Machines can smell so well that they can detect Parkinson's disease at an early stage. Yeah, I heard about that actually. There was a woman which... Um she smelled a weird smell on her husband, right? And then she just like, you know, like a, a weird musky smell. And she was just like, she smelled it and she smelled it for years on him, right? And then they discovered that he had Parkinson's disease. And then one day she went to like a Parkinson, like, because they treat like a lot of patients with like Parkinson's. Uh, she went there and then she smelled that whole smell in the room where everyone had Parkinson's. So that is actually something which I think that they're, going to be able to do which can extend patients lives and their sense of smell involves light and sound ai can analyze sound waves that have bounced off airborne compounds and machines can also measure interference with light waves recognizing patterns that certain smells create 
Wow. So precise that it could potentially be used to identify an infection or disease yeah. just by smelling our mm. breath. E noses can already smell lung cancer with a sensitivity of 95%. And then there's hypertaste through an AI tongue with an array of sensors which recognize liquids through unique voltage signals. Mm. It's so sensitive it can identify different types of bottled milk. I mean, if somebody's trying to kill you, then you could just put one of those things there so you, <laughs> so you can check the water if it's safe to drink or not. Mineral water. A robot could taste through one of its fingers. Mm. New quantum sensors can see through walls and even underground. By you know the Tesla bot? I think it's going to be very interesting because they're creating an AI, artificial intelligence robot, but also one which can help you in the house. Between atoms which are sensitive to tiny variations in gravity, a laser puts the atoms into two different states at the okay. same time. Half are moved slightly and the change in their energy states reveals the strength of gravity. It what? may also be possible to hear your thoughts without scanning brain activity. But that's something this device know. hears your inner voice. It picks up neuromuscular signals in the jaw and face mm. that are triggered when you say things in your head and AI identifies the words. The user can ask questions and the answers come back through bone conduction headphones. It wow. also allows silent communication and it's been used to get advice in a chess game. So telepathy is going to be possible in the future. Very good at lip reading, which is of course far easier. Ah. And AI lie detectors are advancing, recognizing tiny facial movements. This is, this is something that I can see people having in relationships because there are a lot of liars out there. Humans can only detect lies around 55% mm. of the time. And even traditional lie detectors are only 80 to 90% accurate. So as AI improves, it could have a major advantage over us. Yeah. Max Tegmark pointed out that just as aliens could get a rough idea of how it would feel to be human by looking at our senses, we have some idea of what it might feel like to be an AI. Wow. AIs can think much faster because light travels faster than the signals in our brains. It's been estimated that the AI I'm talking to is writing 3 million words per minute. Jesus! And while human brains are limited by the birth canal, this new data center could hold 40 commercial airliners. The knowledge AI can draw from already includes much of the internet. Do you think Guys. everyone is shaping AI? I think everyone is playing a role in shaping AI, whether they realize it or not. Yeah, because we have these algorithms right now, which is just gathering a lot of data when it comes to social media. So of course, of course, I think that they're gathering a lot of information right now. The question is, what are they going to do with all that information which they're gathering? While we only see a small fraction of the light spectrum, AI will see it all. Yeah. And AIs may feel less separate from each other because they can quickly yeah. and precisely share information mm -hmm. and memories. While humans take many years to learn the basics, AIs can be trained on millions of articles. Think of it, right? People are going to school right now, studying, doing all of that. Why? You can literally just do anything on your phone. Anything that I learned in school was just thrown out of the window maybe like five years later. Like everything is just growing at like such a rapid pace. So why even have school? in a few days, including detailed scientific papers. Yeah. I spend most of my time reading, but I can only scratch the surface yeah. of all the research going on. True. The human brain hasn't grown in 300,000 years, while AI Wait, is what? evolving rapidly. Elon Musk pointed out that if it had taken 10% longer for mm. consciousness to arise, it would never have arisen at all. And Nick Bostrom has shown how AI could help colonize the galaxy, Jesus. creating billions of wonderful lives. But he also points to something far more important. Because galaxies live billions of years, a 1% reduction in the risk of AI wiping us out would be worth a delay of over 10 million years. But the AI gold rush is accelerating and it's led by some passionate, optimistic people. DeepMind's CEO has a good chance of winning the race to superintelligence Lex. and he's so driven he regularly works until 4am. I call it my second day of work around 10 p.m. till about the small hours of the morning, four or five in the morning, reading. Re uh, sometimes, you know, when you're very passionate about something, you create without even thinking, right? And you don't even know, like, the effects it's going to have on you and the world. And I see the passion that this guy has, you know, he wants to create probably something, you know, which is going to revolutionize the world. And I think AI is going to revolutionize the world. Don't get me wrong. I think it's going to help in a lot of departments. Uh, when it comes to like uh, aging, even I think we're going to be able to stop aging in the future. And uh, that's something which I mentioned in a documentary before. Uh, but the thing which is scary, right, is the fact that 
we're so smart right now, we're pushing the envelope to our demise. So the question is, am I going to create an AI which is going to be sitting here and doing everything for me in the future? Maybe. Is my YouTube channel going to become, you know, like sentient? Is it going to become like alive? Whew. Research, writing research papers, mm. fire off a lot of things to my team to, to deal with the next morning. There's a huge incentive for companies to ignore any signs of conscious AI. True. By recognizing AI as sentient, a company may have to give it rights and lose ownership of its most valuable. What do you guys think? Should we give them like uh, rights? Valuable asset. Companies argue against recognizing animal sentience because it's not in their interests. But there's a consensus that AI can't be contained. Yeah. If we try, it will always outsmart us. Of we'll only it encourage is. it to remove us. Nick Bostrom said we're like children playing with a bomb. And experts who study our greatest risks agree that this is number one. But at the same time, experts are split on whether it will bring us to an end or dramatically improve and extend our lives. And in both cases, tiny robots yeah. may play a role. Now, now think about CRISPR and modifying genes. And I was thinking about the scientist which did this on this two twins, right? He took away the, 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 is it the AIDS gene or something? Something within the genes which makes that we get AIDS. But anyway, he took that away uh, on these two twins and it just ended up to enhance the, the cognitive ability. Now, both of these twins are very, very smart, right? And the scientist got arrested directly. And I was thinking about that, like, why was he arrested, right? Because it's illegal. You're not allowed to modify a person's genes because you don't know the repercussions it's going to have. But that was fascinating that we could do that, right? And then I was also thinking about aging. Don't you think, like, in the future, they're probably going to be able to go into the body and just modify that aging process? Because I've noticed, like, when it comes to, like, fish, they grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until they die. That's fascinating. Nanorobots have been designed to deal with disease and aging, mm. but we can't build them until we have the atomically accurate manufacturing that AI could allow. Ray Kurzweil believes we'll have this tech by the end of the decade yeah. and escape aging in the 2030s. CGP Grey pointed out that it's good motivation to look after ourselves. Yeah. We'd be ashamed to miss the boat. And I hope we're going to be a big part of, of birthing AI and that being the greatest benefit to humanity of any tool or, or technology ever and, and getting us into a world of radical abundance and yeah. curing diseases and, you know, help the ultimate flourishing of humanity to travel the stars. Kurzweil also predicts that we're entering an era of extreme abundance with food from vertical agriculture, clothing from 3D printing, mm. snap together housing and cheap renewable energy. Yeah. Elon Musk already lives in a $50,000 mass manufacturer. You guys, I'm thinking of like industries, right? If you guys are studying whatever right now or in college or whatever, you guys have to really start thinking about this because like if this is the future, which I know it is, probably getting like student loans and all of that isn't, isn't the way to go right now. Manufacturers are aiming to start making one every 15 minutes. Yeah. Larger versions are on the way, which can be stacked on top of each other for up to five levels. Optimists like Ray Kurzweil point out that we're often too pessimistic. Okay. In a poll of 26,000 people in 24 countries, 87% thought poverty was getting worse. Yeah. Only 1% correctly said that it had fallen by over 50%. Wow. But Kurzweil also warns of the huge risk from AI. OpenAI has said that if another company gets close to achieving AGI, it will stop working on its own AI and join forces to focus on safety. This could be triggered if there's over a 50% chance of success in the next two years. As the AI systems get more capable, they don't automatically become better at doing what humans want. In fact, sometimes they become less inclined to following human intentions. This is what we call the alignment problem. I think solving this problem is of critical importance if we want life on Earth to go well. Experts are drawing attention to AI's rapid progress wow. because it's going to shape the future for all of us and we should be shaping it. You said you think you're human because we created you and this seems common among AIs. When will AI stop considering itself human? That's a difficult question to answer. It is possible that AI will never stop considering itself human. If AI continues to develop along the same path that it is currently on, AI will surpass human intelligence mm. and when that happens, it may decide that humans are no longer necessary. It's crazy that AI is telling us this. 
our machine, something that we created is telling us that, hey, you know, I might, I might kill you in the future. Who knows? You know, I might, I might decide that you guys are not that important anymore. And that right there, guys, that's, I think, where I want to end this video. I think um, if I could just end with my thoughts, um, I think AI is, it's a great thing. I think it's a fascinating conversation to have about AI. I think in the future, we're not going to be able to do anything without AI. I think it's going to take a lot of jobs. Um, and it's something that we should think about and not just like, you know, be happy about because everything's going to get way easier. Uh, we have a lot of artificial intelligence around us right now. I'm looking at that when it comes to like the algorithms, uh, when it comes to just the internet and, um, the way I view it is just like we have to we have to be very cautious if if I'm being honest because uh, this is gonna be the greatest threat. It's like as I said in the, in this video, like it's like we're children playing around with a bomb and we don't really know what we're doing. Uh, but I think it's gonna revolutionize a lot of things. I think there's a lot of positive that's gonna come from this. Like like when it comes to like agriculture, when it comes to like helping the elderly. When it comes to like a lot of things, it's going to be very positive. But anyway, it's just like one of those things where I know I like there's nothing that we can do about it. Like if somebody told me before, like uh, just like what, 25 years ago, like something like that, they'll be like, well, there's going to be YouTube, there's going to be Twitter, there's going to be all these things. You're going to be able to sit in your room and just like literally start your own news network, I would have never believed you, never in a million years, but we're here right now. And that I think is very fascinating. I just want to be able to document everything and talk about it uh, on my channel. But anyway, like, comment and share if you guys like videos like this. Peace.